It seems like crisis is deepening within the indigenous people's front of Tripura as sharp differences between topmost leaders have surfaced. An ally of the ruling BJP-led government in Tripura, the IPFT, is facing an existential crisis after the humiliating defeat in the TTAA DC polls last year. Now the situation took an interesting turn as inner party squabbles came to the fore over the president's post. Well, a month after being elected as the new president of the Indigenous People's Front of Tripura, Mevar Kumar Jamatia has been removed from his post and former president Naredendra Chandra Debarma has been reinstalled to his earlier position. Well, in an extended state conference of the IPFT held yesterday, Party Supremo N.C. Debarma removed Party President Mevar Kumar Jamatia and declared himself as the newly elected party president. The development come after a day Demartia asked party leaders to boycott illegal meeting called by NC Debarma, who is the state revenue and forest minister, as it was allegedly conducted without the permission of the newly constituted state and executive committees. Debarma, however, did not cite any reason for removing Jamatia. <laughs> কমিটির <laughs> যেহেতু আমার শরীরটা খুব খারাপ চলছে সেই জন্য ওয়ার্কিং প্রেসিডেন্ট একজন আছে উনি প্রেম কুমার রিয়াং এম এল এ Well, soon after Debarma made the claim, Mevar Kumar Jamatia held a press meeting in which he dubbed the decision taken by NC Debarma as unfortunate. Moreover, Jamatia said that he would go for legal help if necessary. Well, he also said that the matter would now be placed before the advisory board of the party and senior citizens for discussions. In his present, and he's not observing, and I don't understand, I fail to understand, after one month, more than one month, suddenly he bring this issue. That's why I cannot understand what is the problem going on. It may be happen maybe within one week or within one or two days. Now, already one month, more than one month. After that, he is realizing that I was elect, elected as a legal. So this is very strange. And people will, will judge, people will realize. Therefore, I was very shocked. That suddenly, he uh, announced that uh, there's a uh, state com uh, extended state conference, how is the extent that more than one month only the past. So all these things I think people will see and right taking children, right taking people will observe and they will give the final verdict. I'm not uh, afraid to go to the public because I know public is with me, all the people is with me. Public will tell who is right, who is wrong. Immediately I'll call my executive committee who is uh, support, supported me. Then we'll discuss this matter. And if necessary, we'll go to the court, we'll go to legal. Accordingly, I'll take off this matter, or maybe legal matter, I'll, I'll, I'll legal shell, I'll discuss with my uh, legal uh, authority. And let us see what we can do in future. Well, it need to be mentioned here that the IPFT holds a conference every three years to reconstitute its state and executive committees. Now, in last such meet, which was held on April the 3rd and the 4th, where Jamatia, who is also the state tribal welfare minister, was elected as the president. And to shed more light on this development, I am joined by the assistant news editor, Pinaki, over the phone. Pinaki, if you can hear me, we will get into uh, the IPFT rift a little bit. But let's talk to a little bit about who gets to decide on who or who will not be the president. I mean, who takes the final decision? Exactly. That is the question. Because yesterday when the press conference was being held by NC Debra, we raised the same issue that how 
uh, uh, we can say that all of a sudden, uh, Mewar Kumar Jamatiya is uh, no more the president. How do you decide? And we say that since the executive committee was totally not formed during the uh, those uh, two days uh, central committee meeting, so uh, an extended meeting was being held. But on the contrary, Mewar Kumar Jamatiya later, when he was speaking to us, he clearly mentioned hmm. that uh, the validity of the new committee does not exist and he will knock the door of the court. Uh, uh, but this, this is a confused situation because the General Secretary, newly elected General Secretary Dhananjay Shepura, was uh, not present in the uh, meeting yesterday. And when we tried to contact Dhananjay, Dhananjay over phone informed us uh, that he uh, did not uh, want to take part in the meeting because he wanted both N.C. Dabbarma, uh, who is uh, the founder member, and hmm. Nevar Kumar Jamatia to be in the IPFC. He don't want to split because they are like parents to him, father and like mother to him, hmm. and he does not want any split. But uh, apparently, it seems that the IPC in, is, is, is divided over the issue of the Tipra land. Mm. And since they had come to power over the issue, and, but after coming to power in 2018 uh, with BJP, BJP has clearly uh, categorically said that they are not in, uh, in favor of uh, dividing uh, Tripura, which is geographically little more than 10,000 uh, 400 square kilometers. But no, it cannot be it's not practical to divide that mm. uh, between the tribal and the non tribal. So they want the development of the tribal section of people, and there's no question of dividing the state once more. But but in the meantime, if you see the political development, as that it came to power on the issue, the, it got the uh, favor of the young voters, particularly on the um, this uh, uh, emotional issue of uh, greater uh, Tripura land. Mm. Uh, but later, Pradhu uh, Kishad Dev Burma had, uh, you can say, the hijacked the issue and he had given a new name, Greater Tripura Land, and with that in the TTADC, which consists of 70% of the area of Tripura and uh, more than 31% uh, of the tribal section of people live, uh, because a section of the Bengali tribal also lives there. And in that vote election, Pradhu Kishore had captured the TTADC, which was a big blow to the BJP and the IPFC. In spite of being in power in the state, they could not uh, keep the mm. uh, city agency in, in their capture. So after that, and even before that, we have seen uh, on several locations, the IPFC mm. clearly said, uh, we are not happy with the activities of, of the BJP, because due to BJP, they are losing their uh, tribal base in the Kili parts of Tripura. And that was the uh, difference of uh, difference yeah. from where they, they were trying to split with the BJP. Even I, 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 IPSC MLA had clearly mm -hmm. joined the uh, Tripura Mota, though he was not yet removed. Uh, uh, removed. That is Bishu uh, Gitu Dev Burma. So these were the differences. But now the big question is, mm -hmm. who will say that which constitution, which cons uh, committee is valid? So yes. for that, we have to wait for some time and maybe the court will decide. But in the meantime, the elections are approaching in Tripura and heels are very much moving away from the IPC to Tripura Muta. That is a clear message. And even BJP is trying to gain his own organization in the heels among the tribal section of people.